Governor Gavin Newsom was in the Central Valley today, one of his stops right here in Kern County in the town of McKittrick, where he surveyed the site of an oil spill. 17's Zayton Wallace has been with the governor all day long and had a chance to speak with him. Good evening. Newsom began his day in the community of Sanger. We'll get to that in a moment. But first, he just wrapped up a meeting with employees of Chevron at the location of the oil seepage. And tonight, he says he's cautiously optimistic about the cleanup process. Gavin Newsom was in Kern County today assessing this, an oil seepage at this Chevron oil field in McKittrick. Since May 10th, five different seepage events have taken place here, all leading to this, a large pool of liquid consisting of one-third oil and two-thirds water. And there's a, a deep desire to get this thing fixed, and uh, it's not lost on any of us that it's the most significant expression we've seen. It's the most significant seepage of oil we've seen in, in quite some time. A significant seepage that, according to the governor, is contained. He added the seepage did not lead to significant threats for wildlife or for the water we drink. Absolutely told by, and I had my environmental experts, we had the state folks, not just listening to industry, uh, saying that this is no uh, concern whatsoever as it relates to aquifer or this contamination impacting uh, any of the surrounding communities. Communities that Newsom acknowledges rely on oil for everyday life, including for the economy. But Newsom says he is cautiously looking ahead to a future where oil may be a thing of the past. Is this our future or is this our past? And I think a lot of folks feel that there's a decline here. Um, you know, we talk about demand. A lot of folks are talking about supply. Uh, some of the largest companies in the world, Shell, are talking about completely getting out of this business. Uh, and they've set some audacious goals. Um, the world's changing, and the cost of, of alternative technologies is getting lower and lower. And, uh, and so I think that's a part of the conversation I want to have in this state. <laughs> Also on the governor's agenda, water. This morning, Newsom, alongside activist Dolores Huerta, was in Sanger where he signed Senate Bill 200 into law. This is significant. Significant, he says, because the new law will allocate up to $130 million per year for statewide projects the governor says will lead to clean drinking water. I mean, the idea that we're living in a state with a million people that don't have access to clean, safe, affordable drinking water is a disgrace. This is the wealthiest state, the wealthiest democracy in the world. I care about California, you can't care about California unless you care about Central Valley. I want to prioritize the Central Valley. You've seen me out here on multiple occasions. Uh, I'm committed uh, to this part of the state. And back here in McKittrick, the governor says the oil seepage originated from a well that is no longer in use, but the cause remains under investigation. Meantime, he tells me there is no timetable for when all the oil will be cleaned up. Reporting in McKittrick, Aton Wallace, 17 News.